anniversary of the Second World War uh, after 70 years is coming up. And I'd like to get your comment on that because uh, China will be holding a parade about this. I believe you're aware um, of, of that significance. And uh, I'd like to, to get your comment on that victory of the Chinese victory against Japanese aggression. Could you give us your comment, please? Generally, if you look at uh, wars, of course, first of all, you have to recognize there has been many lives lost. And so we'd like to pay homage to all these people who have uh, shed blood uh, in this process. But I think one also has to reflect on the futility of war. Why do people fight? What does it bring at the end of the day? Uh, it's very, very painful in terms of, well, those who have been engaged in it. Uh, it's also very painful for, uh, for the country and for the loss of, uh, well, many things. If you look at what's happening uh, across the world, there is so much damage, there's so much destruction. And uh, many big names across the world, be the Gandhis, be the Mandelas of this world, they have uh, been in favor of peace. They have done it non-violently. They have made much more of impact. So I think based on these two concepts, we have to question the necessity of going into war when so many fora across the world now exist for dialogue, for exchanging of opinion, for making sure that the checks and balances are there to prevent this kind of thing. So that's my message to the world would be, let us think differently, let us be less aggressive because we have so much more to lose by going into war than by negotiating on a table and making it happen peacefully.